Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss about what are the solutions for 11th, 12th and 13th questions in exercise 3. So what is in 11th question is, so they are given right angle triangle and uh, two remaining two acute angles are uh, ratio they are given that is uh, 2 is to 3. So here we need to find the angles in this question. So right angle, let's take right angle triangle ABC, ABC. Let right angle at A, that angle, angle A will be equal to 90 degrees. So, one angle we got and two remaining angle B and angle C ratios they are given. Let angle B will be equal to 2x degree and angle C will be equal to 3x degree, 3x degrees. So, here uh, as usual, we need to find uh, angle some property and we need to substitute in that and we need to find the remaining angles. So, what is the angle sum property of a uh, triangle ABC? So, angle A plus angle D plus angle C will be equal to 180 degrees. So, what is that angle sum property of angle sum property of a triangle uh, ABC? So, A will be equal to 90 degrees and B will be equal to 2x and C will be equal to 3x that will be equal to 180 degrees. So, here 90 degrees is there just 2x plus 3x is 5x. 5x will be equal to 180 minus 90 degrees. So, 180 minus 90. So, here 180 minus 90 is as usual 90 degrees 5x then x will be equal to 90 by 5 so 5 1 the 5 and 5 8 the. so x is equals to x will be equal to what is the constant is x so here it, if it's they will going to give any ratios we need to multiply with the, some constant that constant won't change for any value the ratio values will going to change so here what is the angle b is 2x that will be equal to 2 into 18 36 degrees so angle b will be equal to 36 degrees and angle c will be equal to 3x 3 into 18 that will be equal to 54 so 54 and 36 if you add will get 90 degrees and one more thing is there already 90 degrees is there so finally we got a b c r two acute angles will be 36 degrees and 54 degrees then what is our second question 12th question is they are given triangle pqr and they are given ang right angle that angle q that is will be equal to 90 degrees and remaining lpm pml and prq we need to find for our uh, for our easy purpose we are taking that x degree y degree and z degree there so here let's take from angle, uh, linear pair angles what you can say is at here what is the linear pair angle is so from linear pair angles linear pair angles so 130 plus y will be equal to 180 degrees so y is equals to 180 minus 130 that will be equal to 50 degrees so therefore what is that y is pml PML it will be equal to 50 degrees so we got one angle so we got one angle PML will be equal to 50 degrees then what is our next one you hear L and Q L and Q will be so RQ and ML are parallel to each other then corresponding angles L, L is also 90 degrees so, so this is also right angle so why we got and we got L there from angle some property what you can do is just x degree plus y degree plus 90 degrees equal to 180 degrees so from this triangle pml triangle pml from triangle pml we done angle some property so x is x plus y is 50 plus 90 that will be equal to 180 then 50 plus 90 will be equal to 140 that will be equal to 180 so x is equals to 180 minus 140 degrees so what is that value x will be equal to 40 degrees so x will be equal to 40 degrees therefore what is that x is nothing but so x what is that lpm 
E is equals to 40 degrees. Then we need to find the other angle. So what is that other angle is Z degrees. So here these two angles. So Z degrees we can make it as two methods. Here directly we can take Z and Y are the two corresponding angles. Then we can take Z as Y 50 degrees no problem. Next method is we need to take X degree as first X 40 degrees plus 90, 90 degrees. It will become 130 degrees and addition to that Z degree we need to take. So Y and what you can do is simply what you can do is one method Y and Z are corresponding angles then Y is equals to Z that will be equal to 50 degrees or another method or what you can say is from triangle PRQ what you can do is so angle some property again so X degree plus Z degree plus angle Q is equals to 180 degrees so X already we found what is that is X will be equal to 40 z as usual 90 equal to 180 degrees so angle z is equals to 180 minus 130 that will be equal to 50 degrees so anyway we found all the angles so angle prq is 50 degrees angle pml is equals to 50 degrees and angle x will be that is lpm will be equal to 40 degrees so our 13th question is we need to find some of all these angles so here they are given pentagon we cannot find all the angles some at a time so for that what you need to do is just we need to divide this pentagon into uh, triangle shapes then we will get we know angle some property of triangle all the angles will be equal to 180 degrees so like that we need to divide then you need to add all the angles from triangles how many triangles is possible to divide that many triangles we need to divide so here angle 1 and angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 all are given so just as what we'll do is we'll divide the pentagon into all the angles into triangle angles so just divide how we'll divide is just i am dividing one two three so no triangles so just we are dividing into three triangles what are the triangle is triangle a b e comma triangle b c e and triangle c d e so triangle c d e so here all the angles will be added so here we're going to add all the angles some properties for all the things is so what is nothing but is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 will be equal to what is that is sum of all the angles sum of all angles of three triangles sum of all the angles of three triangles what is the angle sum property of one triangle 180 degrees what is another angle some property for another triangle 190 degrees then like that 180 degrees so 3 into 180 degrees that will be equal to 540 degrees so thanks for watching this video if you want more videos and write here on youtube you can watch and thanks for watching if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe